Welcome. Today I'll be demonstrating how to do the needle felting kit uh, titled Love Blooms Here. So it's a suitable kit for beginners. Uh, a suggested age would be 12 and up. Um, the complete kit comes with everything you need to create um, your little wool painting. Um, it comes with a block of foam and your needle will go through it, but not go through the other side and hurt yourself. And it comes with a backing piece of uh, fabric. And this is what the wool will be poked into. Um, and it will have somewhere to go and it will keep it all together in the size that you want. So here's the little painting that you're going to do. And I'll just put that aside. And the kit also comes with a little canvas to mount your little wool picture on. We'll put that aside. Now here's the wool roving that comes with the kit. We've got a nice blue for the sky, some white for the clouds, several greens for the greenery in the foreground, and your little heart flowers will be two tones of pink and purple there. Okay, let's get started. So I put my little backing piece on the foam and I've got my needle here. And what this is, it's not like a normal needle that has a hole that you thread your, your uh, thread through, but this is a barbed needle. So I don't know if you can see that, but the needle has little barbs on it and it's very sharp. And it when you take a little piece of fiber and you push it through, those barbs keep it down in there and it sets them in place as you keep poking them in. Okay, so let's get started. Our picture shows, here I'll just lay that right here so you can see it as I work on it. So what I like to do is I like to start with either the background color or what's the biggest block of color really in the picture. So in this case, I want to start with the, the sky. So what you do is you take little pieces of wool and just pull them out like that. And not a lot at a time. And I like to kind of fold it as I do the edge. So I'm just going to start laying my wool out where I think it's best to go. And you really want it to go a little bit over the edge. That way none of your white backing will show. And it's best too if the wool fibers are going as you layer it on, that they're going in opposite directions. And that will also help felt the wool together. All right, so I got a little bit down. And as you go through, you can kind of press it down into place. And then you take your needle and you just start poking it in. Just be careful of your fingers, of course. And I like to kind of work it around the edge a little just to get it in place there. And this is just a really thin layer, just to get started here. And the more you push into the foam, the more this piece will stay put, and you don't have to worry about it kind of moving around on you. Okay, so let's add a little bit more blue. And just kind of keep Keep putting it in there. And what you want to remember with the needle is that you want to make motions in the same direction in and out. You don't want to bend it because it, it'll snap, it'll snap the needle right off. So same direction in and out. Alright, so looking at my piece here, it looks like. We're going to go down just a little bit more with the blue on this side. That looks about 
right. And you know, don't worry about it being exact. This is this is a way to be a little creative and have fun. No stress involved. Just poking away. Right around the corner here. And you can see I'm kind of rolling these little tufts of wool up. And by doing that, it kind of almost starts to felt it. Okay, so we're going to, looking at the picture, we're going to take that blue down a little farther over here. pretty good for now. So we've got our nice blue sky, although I'm going to put a little bit more at this top corner because I can see a little bit of that white showing through there. I want that to cover up. Okay. All right. So now um, the next biggest area of color or background in the piece would be the green and the leaves. And, and the kit contains three different greens. Get those out. And depending on the piece, there's several, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, for one way you could take, pull a tuff of that off, pull a tuff of that color off, and this, this other green and put them together and it kind of gives you this variegated color which is nice and then maybe fold it in half just like that and then we'll just start at the bottom let's see start over here and that little folded edge, I always like to do that just over the edge. And it kind of finishes off that end nicely. And we just kind of start pushing it in. You don't have to get too crazy yet until you start to finalize things. You just kind of want to start laying it out. So you could do that. I added all three together at once, or you could just do one color at a time. And you just kind of want to make these nice leaf shapes. And as you can see, it's not exactly like the picture. It's really just the idea. All right, Put it over here for starters. Okay, so we've got a few leaves down. And I think what I'll do is go back now to the clouds. That way we can put the rest of our leaves over the, the clouds and it won't be as hard to put the white in around those. So you've got your little bit of white here. And again, just pull off little pieces. And yeah, balling them up in kind of a circular shape will get you that leaf, I mean that uh, cloud shape sooner. So I'm just going to take it right up to the line of that green leaf there and just kind of poke it down in a circular shape just like that. And as you go, you can kind of use the needle a little bit to kind of keep the fibers where you want them. And another piece here. And that one will go up here, I think. It's a couple. 
couple little clouds. And it looks like we've got some more. We'll add a little bit more light down here. And fill in that space. Just like that. Put some clouds over here on this side. I just find this so relaxing. Something you can kind of do on the couch with your feet up. Just keep working away at these little clouds here. Don't mind the dog. Someone just came to the door, it sounds like. Okay. So we've got a few clouds down there. And we can always go back and add a little bit more later. Let's get going on the green again. So I kind of really like putting all three colors together. kind of makes a nice variation, gives it a little dimension. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add three colors here together. And this time I'm going to separate the colors a little. So I'm going to pull them apart and then put them back together. Pull them apart and put them back together. Just like that. That kind of blends it a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take maybe half of that. And again, I'm going to fold it a little to get a little extra thickness on the bottom. And we're going to take this one up this way here. And we just kind of go around a little bit once in a while just to kind of secure things in place that you've already put in. Okay. And we'll take another section of this. And I think we'll put it over here in this corner. And if something you put down doesn't look quite right, or you don't like it, you can always just pull it right up. And start over. That's the great thing about needle felting is just take it off if you don't like it. Sometimes I kind of like curve, curl the, the wool there. It kind of lays a little better. Find my point. I think I'll take it a little bit past that other, that other one. There we go. And let's see. I'll do another mix of greens. Maybe mix them together a little bit. And 
There we go. And fold the bottom a little. I just like to do that. It's not necessary, but it gives a nice edge on the bottom. Almost like the wind is blowing them. Just like that. Okay. So let's just keep working away at our green. like they are. And I'll put those right down here. A lot of times usually what I'll do is I'll get to the end of a point and there'll be some wool left and I'll just kind of scrape it back. Or you can also just take it and snip off the end of it also and, and put it back in. Either way is fine. I do both. Depends on how I'm feeling at the time. And we'll put these two. I think we'll put those right here. Okay, so not too bad. It looks like it's getting a little muddy over here. So I think I'm gonna do just a little bit of that light. Just right there across that. Just like that, something like that. And as you go, you can kind of clean up your edges a little. You know, you've got some stray fibers. You can kind of twirl it almost like you're twirling your spaghetti. Just twirl it around and stick it in. Okay. All right, I think next what I'll do is I'll try to figure out the placement of my little flowers. And I think we want the stems to be on the dark side so that they stand out a little maybe and not too many of them show really so I think I'll put this one kind of right in the middle I'm gonna come up to about right there there's one and we'll put another little stem. They sit quiet in here somewhere. Okay. So there's a couple, although I don't really like how tall that one is. I think I'm going to bring it down just by scraping it down a little. That's a little better. And then, looks like not too many of the stems really show too much once the grass is in. And all. So I think I'll go ahead and start doing the flowers. I think I'll just kind of make a little simple heart shape, just kind of by folding it in half for starters. And I'm going to take that fold, just kind of start sticking that in. 
And we can just kind of do one. Just slowly work away around to look like a heart. Another little piece. And we'll start at that point again, make it easy. And we'll take it around. Just like that. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space there because I'm going to put a little bit of purple in there. Give it a little bit of extra dimension. And a little extra color. And I will take just a small piece of purple. And I'll let it up a little. It's probably a little too much. So I'll just get some trusty scissors out here. Just snip off a little. And then make sure all that's tucked in there good. Okay. Nice. There's one of our flowers. So that's going to be the biggest flower. So the rest of the flowers are going to be farther in the background. So I think I'm just going to do them each their own, either purple or pink. And I'll put this one in there. Find it easier to do kind of half the heart at a time. And just make sure we get all those stray, stray fibers tucked in nice there to make the shape. Okay, that looks good. And I think we'll do a purple one, kind of peeking out over here somewhere. Kind of tucked in here would be good. Just peeping over the edge. You don't even see all of it, just a little over half of it. There we go, that looks pretty good. Smooth it up a little. Okay. That's looking pretty good. All right, so I think now what we'll do is go back to the leaves. And again, I'm going to mix some colors here. And this middle one area here needs a little bit. So again, I like to fold the edge just a little. Give it a little extra to the edge of the, the bottom edge. That looks pretty good. And it looks like I left a little bit of white space there. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to continue the blue over there. So you can kind of see the sky in between there. And kind of pull that up a little. Tuck that in there. There we go. That looks pretty good. And maybe we'll just add a little bit more of that green one just so it goes over the top nicely. How's that? Not bad. Okay. 
So we've got some stray fiber if you want to kind of get under control in the right spots. Almost feeling like maybe a little bit more white clouds would be nice over here in this corner maybe. See why what I did there? I took the tuff and I just kind of rolled it up together. And then you can kind of just pull it apart and it almost has an instant shape of a cloud, a puffy cloud. So let's see. Just kind of lay it there. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's put it in. Okay. All right, so it looks like over here we've got a little bit of white showing. And otherwise, I think we've pretty much covered the whole surface. So let me get to something else over there. I'm going to go with. dark, the two darker ones, and again folding that bottom, not necessary, but it's just something I like to do, it defines the edge nicely and makes sure you always have enough wool on the edge. Alright, so let's go around, kind of tidy up our edge. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Although, let's see, maybe we can do a hint of another flower back there, just a tiny bit. Maybe it's even farther in the background. Mm. Let's see. Maybe this back here, just a little hint. Through. Doesn't even have to be a, a heart shaped, it's just barely poking through. And then maybe we should do a little purple too. And I think we'll do that. Maybe over here. Like it's behind this leaf, just a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, once you get to the point where you think it's pretty close to being done, you kind of want to just go around the whole thing and put in the other stray fibers in the good in their spot define any lines. Like this line here is bothering me a little because it's not very pointy. So I'm gonna take it down a little. Maybe cover it up. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that I think. Well maybe just a little bit more here on this side. Okay. okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. I'm not going to take anything off or anything. So now I can get busy kind of just going around the whole thing really poking that wool through. I don't have to push hard. Just just go through it. Um, the light touch always go the same direction in and out because if you turn it you could easily snap that needle right in half. So the 
it's always good to go around your your lines keeping them exactly where you want them for starters and then you go around just keep going making sure you got the whole thing that's it in there In this you're welcome to fast forward if you want or you can just keep on watching and you just keep finding spots of stray fibers that need to be put in their place okay you think you've got it well felted in looks pretty good I'll show you this one here and as you can see a little different um, but same idea so this one is the finished one which looks a lot thinner a lot flatter and how to do that is once you get your piece, you kind of slowly just push it off of your thing, your block, and see all those fibers, how they all went through there. Isn't that nice? So you've taken it off once, and now we're going to put it back on, and we're really going to just concentrate on getting that nice edge. So you want to go around and pull in any of those loose fibers like that and some of these can kind of be tucked in the first go around and then when you poke straight down then they'll meet up with those and form a better line slight angle and that's what's pushing those fibers that are coming off the edge back in to that line just like that and any spot that looks like it's not quite square you can kind of tuck it in a little here and there but you can always I like to trim the piece up with scissors a lot of the times it gives it a real crisp square edge that looks nice against the, the canvas back. All right, so we got our edge around there. It looks pretty good. I'm going to bring this down just a hair. It looks a little higher on that side for me. All right, let's go back now and do it all again. Let's get the whole surface nice and felted. fibers will stay where they're put. Melting of the piece looks pretty close to being finished here. So now it looks pretty puffy. And what you'll want to do now 
is um, take it off again and fix any loose spots that look like they need to be tucked in. Maybe go over it again. And you just keep looking. It takes a lot of pokes for it to really become one piece of felt. And then once you're finished and it looks good, then you can take a hot iron uh, and just right to the surface of this. It won't hurt it on the wool setting. A little bit of water, distilled water in there. Just give it a little steam is fine also. And within a couple few seconds, you'll see that it just completely flattens and makes a nice smooth, smooth piece, flat piece. And then once you have that, and you can take your canvas and inside your kit will have uh, a piece of double-sided uh, fabric adhesive on the canvas so you will just gently peel that off and place your piece right in the middle and then gently press down and your piece is done i hope you enjoyed it happy felting